Hey, good morning. Yes, I saw this over the weekend on Friday night specifically, and I couldn't believe what I was watching. Pardon the witches. That's what they want to do. This was on France 24. Just could not believe it. And I was having a deja vu thinking, I just talked about witches not that long ago, but this is in Scotland. They want to set to vote a pardoning of witches. This is how evil our world is. Now I'm going to go through this fairly quickly and just show you some clips at the end, but this is what I looked into. I saw the, this picture here, and I, of course you can see the goat, but I thought, who is this Lilius Addy? Let's look into that. But the goat is, yes, playing the flute. And, you know, it also reminded me, since I was watching France 24 this morning, the goat. Yeah, so they mentioned Serena being the goat, the greatest of all time. Well, we all have our thoughts on Serena, uh, he, she, whatever, but the goat. How Peter Pan played a flute as well. And I remember, you know, Enter the Stars talking about this as well. How he was a Pied Piper playing and all the kids were lured towards him. You know, how music is very luring today even. I'm just saying. But anyway, let's keep going. A Lilius. You know, they. this is a picture that was reconstructed of her. And they have, you know, approximately where she was killed or drowned because she was a witch she was accused of practicing witchcraft right she was accused of this and she was sentenced to prison but what does it say even in wikipedia that she was finally she finally confessed to this oh she confessed so she was a witch and you know the name lily you know reminded me of lilibeth you know we don't need to mention anything about that or other names that come from Lily, you know, there's several all around the world. But anyway, Annette Young was talking about this. She's the one who did the reporting on this, but we all know already who she is, right? She's the winner of a journalist prize back in 2018 from the UN Journalist Prize. Yeah. And then she shows her allegiance there with her hand sign, just like all the others, right? But they want to pardon the witches. This is how evil our world is. Nicola Sturgeon, no, oh, uh, can be a guy's name or a girl's name, notice. But anyway, um, who is this woman? She's the one pushing this forward there in Scotland. Well, just to show you a few pictures, it you know, pictures speak more than a thousand words, so I don't have to say more. We can tell who this person is, right? Yeah, she's won several prizes as well. There you have it. And her last one that I mentioned here, the Ray of Day, reminded me, yes, of the Order of the Smiley. You know, how they love to make up new things all the time just so that they can keep giving each other awards. They show some pictures here in the video, so please watch. It just reminds me that how much they've changed the witches, you know, being depicted from the early days and how they changed that along the years, right? From that to Bewitched and uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And oh yeah, but there are real witches, mind you. Yeah, we don't need to mention, I know you guys know who these people are. I've done videos on them. You know, Michelle Lammy being Kim Kardashian's, you know, spirit guide. And they're linked with many, you know, celebrities, right? Just like Marina Abramovic. You know, the name that should ring a bell because Bill Gates tried to have a commercial with her in there. Yeah, but it was taken down because too many people know who she is. But there's a, you know, an expert there who talks about the matters in the past of what happened and how the Pope cast the witches as heretics during the Renaissance period and have had them all killed. How the witch hunting manual was written by two clergymen because, you know, what usually happened or what they were saying happened um, that were farmers would blame their neighbors if their livestock, too many of them died, you know, in a certain day. So then these people, mostly women, were in prison, tortured and pressured to name other people. But then the pictures they share, you know, I have to show you and the way they said things, you know, three centuries ago, some 200,000 witches were tortured. The majority of them were women. But then they talk about the preparations of the witches and show you this picture here. And the usual, the most serious accusation was that they worshipped the dev devil on Sabbath. And then they show you some other pictures. Now, I... 
we understand here on this channel, at least I hope you do, what they're showing us right here. They have right in the middle, they have the Baphomet, they have the archway, they have the pillars, they have someone riding a goat, or that's what it kind of looks like. Maybe it's a horse, but you know, there's a joker, there's the devil. Maybe you're seeing many other things. That's just enough for me. I, basically, I'll translate it for you. They're showing the Baphomet. They're showing you who they are. They're masons. And they're showing you who they're aligned to and who they worship. Yeah. And these are the type of people that they want to pardon. Oh, yeah. They show you so many things, even in the f pictures right there. But are you noticing this picture close up? The guy in black? All right. No, nope. doesn't look familiar at all. We don't recognize that cross. No, no, no. And not, not and nobody today is uniting with that, you know, Knights of Malta, uh, Freemasonry, you know, elk, lions, rotary. They're all affiliated with one another. And then they show that they were beheading those. So I wonder who really were they beheading? Are they going to be calling us, you know, names as well in the future? I, I just thought of Noahide laws. I thought of um, the book in Revelation where they talk about beheading. But then they showed this picture right here. And at first I was going to go right past it. But are you noticing the, the girl there pointing? She's holding up a Freemason hand sign. So every picture they're showing us here. Oh, there's others. There's this guy right here on to the left as well. And even him. Oh my goodness, I'm just noted. And there, they're all holding up Freemason hand sign. Oh my goodness. So are we going to trust them and, and pardon these people? No, this is not happening today. No, we're not seeing the same hand sign on Alex. Oh, but that's a touchy subject for some. But how about these ones then, right? Okay. But anyway, we all know it's happening today. We know we see it. Even King James the Sixth, yeah, we know who all the kings are aligned to and who they're related to. They all have the same type of symbolism. They all have gotten their awards. Even here, a little bit closer up, let's get closer. He's showing us the M sign, right? Okay, well then she brings on the two women who are pressing this as well Zoe and Claire are they witches well I believe they were but we'll look at the video footage in just a moment and where they talk about what this symbol means I'll try to show it really quick quickly with you but just in short yeah they are a part of the witches of Scotland and they're co-founders of that organization and that website go take a look and the first thing you'll see is right here these two V's back to back and that means vav right so six six we understand that but then they go on to show you other pictures <laughs> i mean it's it's almost hilarious how their symbolism all that they do is is showing us who they are they want to be uh, have a pardon they want an apology and they want a national memorial all the while showing you that they will also do hexes. See, notice at the bottom, the crow with the hex. Watch my uh, son Nambarin video talk about the crow. But even here, the pictures on Facebook that they show you, he has a Freemason hand sign. She's within the arch. And then what they show and talk about with that one picture there on the right, the estimated 380 fifers. What are fifers? Oh, they're, they're um, pipe players, right? Oh, they're just like Peter Pan. Look, there's so many names for the word witch, magician, enchanter, you know, conjure, warlock, wizard, shaman, fortune teller. They have so many, but the most recent that we're seeing right in front of our face is alchemist, right? No, those are old pictures. No, no, that's that's not what's going on. But I can't talk about that much, too much here on Facebook, uh, YouTube or I'll have this taken down. All I can tell you is this is a wicked, wicked world. And I hope that you have turned to Jesus because he is our only hope. And it says in the Bible, regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So they're telling you exactly what needed to be done. And that's why they were put to death. There's various places in the Bible where it even says who practice such things will not inherit God's kingdom 
I don't need to go over all the different verses. You guys know, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan will all power and signs and lying wonders. We know they're going to practice all kinds of uh, miracles. We know it, it's spoken of in the in the Bible. But it says also, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And that's what I'm doing, and that's what many try to do on face, uh, Facebook. I keep saying Facebook, YouTube. All right, let's go over a few clips of the video, but otherwise, that's it for today. Just, just had to share that with you. Wow. God bless you guys. Take care. We'll catch you here tomorrow. Till next time. Hello, I'm Annette Young. And in this special edition, we're here in Scotland, whose haunting beauty often provides a backdrop to many TV series and films about witchcraft and sorcery, sorcery, such as Harry Potter and Outlander. But back in the 16th century, here in this country, a true horror tale began when thousands of Scots, predominantly women, met their deaths after being accused of being witches. Now, accused of being witches. Now, 400 years later, the Scottish Parliament is being asked to clear their names. Those who met this fate were not witches, they were people, and they were overwhelmingly women. Picture preparations for the witches' Sabbath is an engraving from 1612. The most serious accusation against the witches was not practicing magic, but worshipping the devil on the Sabbath. As science and medicine advanced, witch trials began to decline. Science and medicine advanced, witch trials began to decline. In France, Louis XIV declared sorcery to be an unfounded superstition. Can you explain to me the importance of this stone? Well, this stone has become a symbol in Dundee for a woman that was accused and then executed as a witch, who was mark her and mark the witches generally. And I say witches, there weren't real witches, there were women and men that were accused and often executed as witches. So women would get together, they would renounce their baptism, they would say that they would do the devil's work, they would be promised treasures, none of which um, anyone could ever show that they'd received. Promised treasures, none of which um, anyone could ever show that they'd received, and they would do the devil's work. So that's why... We owe it to those people to record that history got it wrong, that we got it wrong, and that in fact these people were not witches. We owe it. Pain very much rests on the idea that the people that were accused in Scotland were not witches and that we don't believe in witches or we believe in witches or women or men doing the work of the devil on earth. I think the idea of the witch and the symbol of the crone and the power that women have, I think it's really interesting to look at that and reclaim that word, you know, because.